When you are angry at somebody else, it's much simpler than being angry toward yourself. If another person did something bad to you, then you have the full right to be angry at him. You can reject him, you can avoid him, you can distance yourself from that person and even completely eliminate him from your life. But when you are angry with yourself, you have no way to create distance. You are stuck with yourself. It is extremely hard to ignore and avoid your own feelings. These feelings are growing inside of you and they are destroying you. One of the easiest ways to deal with these feelings is to suppress them with food. An example, let's say a man who works as a manager in a company has prepared a detailed presentation to attract future clients. He goes and presents his ideas, but because of the time limit, he can't go over the whole presentation and must skip a few pages. Although the presentation was good, he feels that he did not do his best work. He did less than he expected from himself. He criticizes himself for not being able to manage his time better. At the same time, he feels guilty because in his mind, he did not deliver 100%. If this man does not work on his internal critic, then these negative emotions will continue to grow inside of him. He will always find flaws in his work and feel guilty, anger and low self-esteem. Within time, he starts going to a local bar after work. He ordered a beer, he squeezes a lime into his beer, and he likes his beer with salty nuts and crackers that come complimentary. Let's decode this type of behavior. Salt. Salt is a suppressant for self-criticism. Nuts or crackers are suppressants for anger. A squeezed lime adds a sour flavor to the beer and suppresses feelings of guilt. When he leaves the bar, he feels good, but only temporarily. He was able to deal with his emotions at that specific moment. If you notice that you eat more than you need, then start paying attention to the type of foods that you crave. In the last example, with the man in the bar, we saw how he was using food to deal with three emotions at once. Usually people never suppress one specific emotion. Our emotions are complex and we are often dealing with several emotions at once. That's why it's important to be aware of your own feelings, to be aware of your own behavioral patterns and it's extremely important to learn how to express our emotions in a healthy way. In my personal experience, most people don't know how to manage their feelings. They don't know how to manage their emotions. They don't notice how they use food to deal with their emotions. They do it subconsciously. Over the years, we store more and more emotion inside of ourselves. At some point, we cannot hold them in anymore. People can experience emotional breakdowns, depression, panic attacks, and anxiety. Oftentimes, they start eating more to deal with their feelings. At some point, they cannot control their appetite. Logically, they can understand that they have eaten a lot, but they still feel hungry. Click like if you find this video helpful and consider subscribing to my newsletter so you will be notified about my future webinars and online courses. All links are in the video description. Again, my name is Elena Semenek and this is my YouTube channel Psychology of Happiness, where happiness is the purpose of life. Looking forward to seeing your questions, to seeing your comments and will be happy to see you on my online course weight loss vaccine.